whale of a tale to tell you lads A whale of a tale or two About the flapping fish and the girls I've loved On nights like this with the moon above A whale of a tale and it's all true I swear by my tattoo Uh, uh What's up guys, it's your girl Athena. So I told you guys I was gonna make another list of four more misconceptions about the military. But first, I need you guys to go and make sure that you click that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you guys can know when I'll be coming out with the next video. Make sure you guys also check out my photography page, Don't Take Create. I'm gonna put the Facebook link down in the description below as well as my Instagram. If there's one thing that I wanna do outside of the Navy, it's definitely gonna be photography and videos. Secondly, everything I say in this video is entirely my opinion and or slash fact in some type of way. Without further ado, let's get it started. The first misconception is we are not as fit as what everybody perceives us to be. One tubby, tubby. One sir. Come on, poke chop. Two tubby, tubby. Two, we have to stay within a certain regulation to be considered fit. But at the same time, a lot of us don't like running. Some of us are what you call in the Navy three mile runners, aka the ones that only run twice a year for our scheduled physical tests. A lot of us majority of the time are probably doing some Netflix and chill, Hulu and Hangout, Amazon, Prime, and wine. Hey, I made it up. <laughs> Alright, anyway, things happen, okay? I gave my woman's weight. <laughs> actually had to go out and buy another uniform because my ass can't fit the last uniform I had two years ago. Some of us are not the same size that we were when we joined. Bye bye size six, seven, and eight. We actually are relatively average and I can understand that it's very important to exercise, important to run, keep your heart active. So come on, everybody exercise your body for circulation. But sometimes you're just old and your back hurts. Oh, my back. Crackle, rice yeah. <laughs> Secondly, we don't swim like how people think that we do. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't panic. We actually really don't swim at all. I can't swim. Pro to the King's Navy, you are. We don't just like jump off the ship whenever we want. And jump in. Jump. And just go swimming in the ocean with Nemo and Bruce and all the under the sea creatures and stuff. There have been times where certain deployments would actually allow their sailors to jump off the ship and you know like swim in the ocean but you know uh, a lot of people decide not to do that because you, there might be some snakes in the water, there might be a shark so yeah. Anyway, oh my god I have to address this one. We don't make as much money as everybody thinks that we do. We really don't. Everybody swears up and down we have an abundance of cash to just give to friends, give to family and we really don't. What you got on my drink. Nah. Don't lie. I'm broke as a joke. Y'all some high rollers. Let me explain something to y'all. Just like a civilian check, we gotta pay taxes. We hear you call an uncle and we're paying our tax. Almost $200 in federal, $130 in social security, $40 in medicare, state taxes, still gotta pay those things, and that BAS that you're supposed to get when you're living in the barracks, you don't see it. Baby, you're gone. A new one guy he got laid off from work, so he ended up joining the Navy. When you're almost a 30-something year old man, and then you're married with kids. Love and marriage. And you end up joining as an E1. According to Google, they're going to make 19000 a year. Yeah, that goes without saying. That's why it's so imperative. Big word, by the way. That while we're in, try to save as much money as possible. I've been able to save, but I'm single with no kids or dependents. <laughs> We have just as much responsibilities as the average civilian. We have car payments, rent, mortgage, families, gas, insurance, phone bill, dog, a kid. Some of us have child support. The Navy doesn't play when it comes to child support, so they will take that chunk out. A lot of people say that it's cheaper to keep her. But there is a reason why. Son, you're gonna pay some alimony. That's why it's cheaper to keep her. 
power to the people who are paying that women and men the only time that people end up making money is on deployment we don't have that daily spending ability obviously the value of the dollar has changed but overall unless you're on deployment you're overseas or single and you don't have major catastrophic responsibilities you probably are not making that much money so i'm gonna need you guys to stop thinking that okay? we don't know as much secrets as you think that we do the higher you go in rank maybe you'll find out something but eight times out of ten you're just being told what to do with no particular reason as to why that's just the way the military is because i said so sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet i definitely already explained this in the other video stop believing everything you see about the military online we didn't go there i don't even know what it looks like so stop asking us questions that we don't know what you think that we know because even we don't know what we think we thought we knew if that makes perfect sense <laughs> you're not making any sense at all that's exactly the way the navy is it's confusing it doesn't make sense and just like any other job you get the kiss ass the snitch you get the person that nobody wants to be around but who ends up making rank that's the type of world that we live in the next misconception is possibly one of my favorites there are two types of people in the military there are enlisted and officers there are two different sets of people Please stop confusing us. The main difference that separates enlisted from officers is a bachelor's degree. A lot of enlisted people actually have degrees too, but they didn't go officer. So, <laughs> so if you are in the military, you better be getting your goddamn degree. You get your degree. First of all, we must internalize the flatulation of the matter by transmitting the effervescence of the Indonesian proximity in order to further segregate the crux of my venereal infection. And we have totally different worlds that we live in. I work in an aviation community where the enlisted are the people that end up fixing the jets and or the paperwork side. No. <laughs> and then there are officers who fly the jets and then some administrative positions. When people say like, oh, oh, are you a lieutenant? Are you a sergeant? Blah, blah, blah. Those are two totally different ranks. <laughs> this is how the pay grades are set up. E1 to E9 are all enlisted people. O1 and above, officers. All right, you guys. So if you like the video, like the video, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends so that they can share it with their friends and that they can share it with their friends. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> we love it daily and it's all true, I swear by my tattoo. Ahoy! Ship off the starboard